The Synod's small group meetings have ended, and so bishops are now ready to prepare the final document for Pope Francis. The Synod is not at the end. The Synod opens the way for the Holy Father to do what he wants with this, with this uh, discussions and with the uh, way we have, uh, we have made from the first Synod. Working groups divided by language have prepared 13 different points, and there's a common thread among all of them. The church can never be a club of perfects, but instead it is people of God that walk together, a home of open doors. Although there are differences among the working groups, Cardinal Marx stressed that the document that's given to Pope Francis will include as much consensus as possible, including on difficult points. We will try to do it. We will try to come together and to make uh, also in the different points uh, like the uh, question of the divorce we married to find a text which is uh, so, uh, so that everybody can accept it as a proposal for the Holy Father. Cardinal Marx says it's not necessary to choose between doctrine and pastoral care because they go with one another. Pastoral and, do and, and, and doctrine is not opposite. Ah, we make the, the doctrine and then we look how to ma make the application. That was not the idea. So the pastoral and the doctrine is together. What will you do with the doctrine with, without living it? All of these matters have been examined within the framework of the mission and the vocation of today's families. Those in Ireland propose receiving the concept of vocation when speaking of the family. We work on supporting and fraternal support for anyone who believes they have a vocation to priesthood or religious life. Now, if we're talking about vocation to the family, then surely we, we need to think in the same way. Now the bishops must vote on the final document. That will take place on Saturday, and afterwards the final text will be delivered to Pope Francis, and he will decide whether or not to implement their recommendations.